This key fob just isn't working anymore. Doesn't do nothing. Take any key rings off and then small screwdriver. Gotta take him out as well. Nice little tripod here. Right, next step is to get the casing off. You wanna be careful when you're doing this because the actual key itself can snap from the fob. So yeah, you don't wanna accidentally pull it the wrong way. I remember you kind of pull the front up and you slide it in a direction. There you go. So you can see the uh, side that doesn't have the key on it has that little lip and you've got to kind of pull it out from there. I was lifting it out. Then you should be getting, given this. So in these bits here um, you have to kind of jam a screwdriver. There is a slot there which it's not very picking up very well you can kind of see the kind of square bit and the clear bit so you want to get flat head in there and it's just it's quite a tricky tricky one to do but the uh, back cover of the black bit does come out first you want to be careful There we go. Once you get one corner up, you can kind of just pull it all the rest of the way up. Maybe not. Slide the tool in there. Oh, launch it across the kitchen. All right, cool. So it's a 2016 battery. So half the time with this key, it's just the battery that's not in properly, but I do think it's dead because the light isn't even working. So to get the battery out, you just literally flick it out. It's a very thin, small watch battery. Now I'm gonna go get a replacement because that's definitely not doing anything. Flick out the old one. Stick in the new one. Have a wee test at the window. Right, so mine wasn't working after I even changed the battery. So what I did is I took it out of its little case. Um, so the buttons are usually kind of bad for going. You can get replacement buttons for them. But my issue was that the, the back of this wasn't making as good of a connection as it should have been to the battery. So I took it all off, I've pried up everything so that it's really, it's definitely touching. Same with um, the other contacts on the bottom of the battery, they've all been pried up as well. And um, yeah, it now, it's very difficult to put back together, but the little red LED should light up. So yeah, um, I'm going to put this all back together, but just an extra step that you might need to take. It's just bend them up so that they make better contact with the actual board. To take this apart, it's kind of finicky, but yeah, obviously I'll put it back together. You can watch us put it back together. It's basically the same. So. Board goes in. Feels seated. And then obviously the so there's two tabs on the bigger side and then there's like the one tab with the bit that you can press in to lock it in so put it into its tab it's kind of hard one-handed then make sure it's in and then push it in now click so if you're doing this the opposite way You'd be looking at the two of the longest edges, it's the top bit here. Um, get a screwdriver in there and just twist it that bar down, slowly pull it up. But fingers crossed, I'll put this all back together again. Stick that back in there. Tilt the back in first so it clips in. 
and slide it forward, change out the bit again. God, I'm speed running my pizza right now. <laughs> and put your screw back in, make sure it's fully going to seat down. There you go.